What is going on guys? You are watching Matt the Musketeer and today I am back with another episode of Becoming a PC Gamer. Now this series has been doing really well not only on my own channel but on Pixel Enemy as well. So to celebrate that I have some PC product codes for Assassin's Creed 3, Far Cry 3 and Borderlands 2. I got them free with my latest graphics card and have no use for them. So if you guys want to have yourself a chance to win a copy of one of those games, head across to my channel and subscribe for a chance to win. Now, in today's episode of Becoming a PC Gamer, I'm going to tackle the subject which I have seen being bounced around a lot in the comment section on this series, and that is how to pick up the peripherals for a gaming PC on a budget. Now, for any of you guys who don't know what I mean by peripherals, I am talking keyboard, mouse, monitor, and speakers. Anything that isn't built into the computer but is essential for its use. Now, picking a budget for peripherals is always an interesting subject, as of course, the more money you save on peripherals means the more money that you can spend on hardware to go inside the computer that will increase its performance. Rarely do peripherals actually make any difference to a computer's output or performance, maybe apart from a monitor's resolution and display. Now, like a lot of people, when I first built my gaming PC, the peripherals were left by the wayside as I actually spent all of my money on the internal parts of the computer. And for a long time, I was just using a standard Microsoft keyboard and mouse and a six-year-old monitor for visuals and sound. But since then, I built up a pretty pro gaming setup without burning too much of a hole in my wallet. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can build up your own pro peripheral setup without losing too much cash. Now the budget that I am setting myself in this video and that I used in real life is around £275 or around $440 which may seem like a lot but bear in mind you're getting yourself an LED 3D monitor, a 5.1 surround sound and a gaming keyboard and mouse, it isn't a bad price. Now to start off with I'm going to talk to you guys about the keyboard because that seems to be the most neglected gaming peripheral of all. It seems to be the one that people want to spend the least amount of money on and let's not lie they aren't the most exciting things in the world and a lot of people don't see the difference between a normal keyboard and a gaming keyboard. This is a mistake that I made when I first got my gaming PC and I began to struggle with ghosting issues with my Microsoft keyboard. Now for anyone who doesn't know, ghosting is when you try and press multiple keys at once and the keyboard doesn't detect it and doesn't carry out all the functions you're asking it to. Now gaming keyboards counter this by having anti-ghosting keys which allow you to press as many keys as you want at once and it will carry out all the functions. So if you're playing Battlefield for example and trying to strafe left whilst moving forward, it will carry out all these functions at once. So the first item in the pro peripheral gaming setup with anti-ghosting keys is the Logitech G105 gaming keyboard racking in at £30 or $48 US dollars which with six customizable gaming keys, four memory keys and optional blue backlighting isn't a bad asking price. Next on the list is of course best friend and buddy to the keyboard and that is the gaming mouse. Now gaming mice are the most optimizable, customizable and price varying gaming product on the market. They range from anything from £10 all the way up to £100. But for this setup to save ourselves a whole lot of cash, I'm using the relatively cheap Fortec X7 which racks in at £25 or around $40. US dollars. Now originally I bought this mouse as a temporary mouse until I was going to get myself a more top of the range gaming mouse. But I was so impressed with it I have stuck with it ever since and had it now for about 8 or 9 months. For a relatively low asking price you're getting a lot for your money with 3 extra customizable memory keys, 5 different DPI speeds and an anti-vibrate cursor locking system. All topped off with a nice rubbery matte black finish for extra grip. Next up we're going to take a look at the most important part of any pro peripheral gaming setup and that is of course the monitor. You could have the world's most powerful computer, but if you had an old monitor, your games would still look pretty crap. Now, just like the keyboard and mouse, there are lots of different options available on the market out there. But this option, not only do I feel is the best value for money, but it's also a pretty shit hot monitor. Racking in at only £170 or $276, the Samsung SA700 gives you a hell of a lot of bang for your buck. The 23-inch Full HD LED 3D monitor boasts 120Hz frame speed and comes with a handy DisplayPort to HDMI cable converter for any of you guys using the older NVIDIA graphics cards and want to take advantage of the 120Hz frame speed. In this video, I am giving this monitor the Star Product Prize Award as I've had this monitor for 6 months now and I cannot recommend it anymore to you guys. The 120Hz makes Battlefield 3 look gorgeous and for the extremely low price, you cannot say no to adding this to your pro gaming setup. Now with your visuals and controls sorted, it is time to take a look at your sound. Now for any pro gaming setup, it is a must have to have 5.1 surround sound. So you can hear those enemies sneaking up behind you and give you that submersive Battlefield 3 experience. And for this setup, I have picked the Logitech Z506 surround sound, racking in at only £50 or $81. With 75 watts of stereo 3D surround sound and a downfiring subwoofer with dedicated bass controls, you're sure to give yourself the true Battlefield experience. And with that, that rounds off the final piece of the pro peripheral gaming setup, coming to a total of £270. Not a bad price considering some speakers alone cost more than £300. 
Now, if you guys have enjoyed this video and want to see any other videos in the Becoming a PC Gamer series, head across to Matt the Musketeer now and check out the rest of the series. And if you have any questions, feel free to fire them at me on my own channel page. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It does help me out a lot. And if you want to have a chance to win yourself a copy of any of those game titles I mentioned at the start, then head across to my channel. And in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.